Time for more of Dragon Age Asshole Edition with your host, Downware. Last we left you, Morgan was in her undies, and I was creepily ogling her like a fucking weirdo. For God's sake, woman, you're going to catch your death of cold. That's right. We're heading for Fear and Lothering in Las Vegas. See what I did there? That's called a pun, a.k.a. the lowest form of humor. And or maybe it's just wordplay, who knows. Oh, jeez. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are Our innocence can't be regained. Our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. Hell no! You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. If you know what's good for you, is what I actually said. Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. You almost got the battle pregnant. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's hey, independence. check out his daughter, she's kinda hot. I have not shirked my duty to the throne. And neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand. Not me. unless you give us lots of money! Brook, no threat to this nation. Brook, you what? Or anyone. Oh, he's laying down the law in Sparkle Town. What's with all those lights? Van Tegen, please! Please, head and shoulders. It's cheap. Civil war. If Eamon were here. Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? He didn't need his testicles, I swear. Oh yeah, her husband is the homo in the gold armor that's dead now. Finally, I can find a straight man to marry. Here comes trouble. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to, <laughs> led by an elf of all things. Excuse me? Uh, they don't look much like Hey, nobody they told me Orange had a speaking role in this. Let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. Bastards. No to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. I agree. Is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and your freedom of Ten silvers, Morgan! Blow them. Actually, fuck that. We'll just kill you. We're not refugees, bitch. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. Oh. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Good one. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Ain't that right, boss? Did I do good, boss? Fuck you. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. We can even fuck them if we feel like it. Bring it. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Bombs, bombs, etc. Bitch! Fuck his shit up! How dare you! Whoops! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to my health bar. All right, we surrender. We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. This shoddy operation is pathetic. Let me show you how shit's done. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. Really? Alright. Give me everything you stole. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Really? Well, that's awful nice of you. Now you die. I'm not going down without a fight! You're going down, bitch! Oh, wait a minute, I'm still dead. Oh, that sucks. Now I gotta beat Alistair. Well, there it is. Bat country. Pretty as a painting. Ah, 
So, you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Oh, snap! Is my being upset I like this so bitch. Hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Probably laugh. Oh, oh see? Laughing. There you go. Great minds. Right, alike. And titties. <sighs> Let's get to the point, you fucking weepy bitch. Anyway, I thought we should talk about <laughs> where we intend to go first. Has he has he got thoughts? I don't give a shit. I agree. Have you looked at them? Yep, I sure did. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of And thus the, and the plot structure has been they established. Also still think that Arliman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Too bad he's in a coma. Oops, spoiler alert. What do you think, Morgan? Obviously, since you got tits, you're the smartest one here. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Logain and kill him. Hey, the that's a good plan. The treaties can then be done in safety. Yeah, that's for fags. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming. Oh, shut up! Not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. You tell him. Alright, fuck you complaining bitches, let's go. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. I think what I'm going to do is, I think there's three different characters that you can have a romantic relationship with. So I think once I've recruited all three of them, I'll let you guys decide which one I should stick with. There's also the option to uh, fuck them all <laughs> and then try to see how long you can string them along before they force you to make a choice. So let's talk about your mother. Uh-oh. Here we go. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, your mother's so fat. Isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. Isn't your mother an ugly to cunt? You, perhaps, you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. Oh, snap! You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's it. You goody two-shoes. You read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over... Oh! Oh no, she didn't! Did not talk about your mother. Oh, funny. snap! You just got served! So, you're gonna fuck me, right? Uh-oh. The rantings of a crazy man coming up. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Why are we yelling? Scaring the children. Fuck them. Slit their throats now, then let them suffer at dark spawn. Good idea. I'll start on the left. You take the right. Their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil. Can you not see them? My reputation precedes me. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Can you all not smell the evil? This one is tainted. I'm immune from the taint, you ass. All right, time to kill you. No, do not touch me. You bring evil and destruction. <laughs> yeah, you end. better run, you son of a bitch. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Time to administer some hope. That's right. No hope for any of you fools. Please, tell us what to do. All right. Give me your valuables and your sorry lives may be spared. You could spare us. Sure. It, for a low, it's, low it's price. A try. Yoink. <laughs> so easy. Uh-oh. A dispute amongst the villagers. This looks like a job for me. From their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your cards. What's all this? You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Hmm... Get ready the tiny part. I'll consider it. <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. Word. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Really? Their blood is filling his pockets. Well, that his sounds reasonable. Survival of the fittest. 
all of these cretins would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. That is true. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your Sounds like classic capitalism to me. Last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Oh, oh boo-hoo! I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Uh, can you beat that offer? You want me to bid against him? Uh, yeah. We don't have that kind of call. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hit the brick, sister. You would actually do the bidding of this evil Bitch! Man. I'll show you what kind of bidding I'll do for this guy. Get lost. Fine. May your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Well, either that or so I kill that them. That's right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? Yeah. I hear you're making a killing. Me too! What? Help! Uh, someone? Doink! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Morgan approves. Nice. Uh oh. Potential new teammate alert. Ah, uh, shit. He's a Muslim. What are you? A prisoner. I'm a Oh, a wise guy, eh? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. And what are you doing in there? I have been convicted of murder. Nice! The has not spoken of this. Who'd you kill? The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to... <laughs> oh, sweet! Time to talk to another elderly priest woman. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? Uh, no. Do I look like a sucker? More of value than most who make it here. Tithe to the Chantry? You gotta be fucking kidding me. A great number of people could be fed and clothed for a fraction of your final. Yes! But you Thanks, Sally Struthers. What can I do for you, then? For only eight cents a day, you can sponsor this little Ethiopian child. I want to talk about that uh, Muslim guy you got out there. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the maker. Oh, that's fair. You? Probably because he murders people and I could always use murderers. Uh, I want him free. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. So? I think you should uh, reconsider that stance before I cut you, bitch. Now we threaten priests. How fun. <laughs> Damn straight. Whoa, whoa. Let's not get out of hand. Oh, party pooper. What is the meaning of this? You would threaten me with violence? Did I stutter? Your reverence, please. We are on an important mission. Let us take the Kunari off your hands. I beg you. I see. And if not, I am to be assaulted. Uh, worse if than that, killed. No, Your Reverence, I will not allow that to happen. Oh, shut up! I have more important matters to concern me. Here, take the key to the creature's cage and be gone. Do Thanks. You You're so lucky I don't get the option to kill you. <laughs> oh, shit! Alistair disapproves minus 13. Oh well. Morgan likes it though. Oh yeah. And when the chance spreads a Stanley. No, not Stanley. I got the key to open that cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. I stole it. And once I am free, you expect me to go with you. How can you help? What are you doing that requires help? I have a face that needs punching. Meet Alistair. Uh, defending against the Blight. Yeah, that's you good. You are a Grey Warden. Word. Even in the far north, we have heard the legends of their strength and skill. But I suppose not every legend is true. Oh, snap! Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. Alright. And so it is done. Word. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Who cares about that shit? 
That's the fun thing about playing stuff on the 360, is when the game just locks up for no apparent reason. So anyway, I guess this is a good enough place to stop for this part. This is Downwire signing out for now.